What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I got another one for you. You know, I'm a little bit annoyed by the overall sensitivity of this country. Uh, it's pretty bad. Like, you know, and it just seems to be getting worse and worse just how sensitive people have actually become. And we're going to read an article today that is a prime example of just how bad things are in this country where something like this would cause you to have a meltdown within yourself and to be fearful? I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds crazy. But once I read the article, you're going to realize what I'm talking about. But before we do that, guys, make sure to give this video a like. Comment down below. If you're watching me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. But if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you hit that follow button. And let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys. So today's article headlines. Woke Watch. Student at $80,000 a year college left scared and confused by cisgender construction workers. Yeah. yeah it's one of those. It's what. It's one of those. I mean, I don't really, how else do you how else do you put that? It's one of those, man. All right, let's get into it. The article says, in the event of war, do not call sensitive rich kid Peter Frey Witzer. The student at an eighty thousand dollar a year per year woke Nirvana Oberlin College in Ohio penned an op ed in the student newspaper declaring his outrage that he was angry, scared. And confused now what's the reason you may ask cisgender men yes that's right cisgender men scared this kid into oblivion apparently which i gotta tell you that is some absolutely pathetic and sad stuff i mean i don't know i've read some pretty sad stories in my day but this is one of the saddest stories i've ever read and if this kid is seriously scared of cisgender men as he quotes it cisgender men dude you will not survive in the real world. I promise you everything. There is no way that you are going to survive in the real world if you are fearful of cisgender men like this. I don't really know what else to tell you other than that. But let's continue the article. It says, The reason cisgender men installed a radiator in his dormitory that is labeled a safe space. In fact, he asked if he could be exempt and felt mildly violated when the contractor showed up. Made for mockery, Frey Witzer said in his op-ed, he is very averse to people entering my personal space. His dorm is known as the home of the women and trans collective. Oh my god, why am I not surprised that this person is talking about a safe space? Uh, there is... Oh, oh, I'm in my head. There is no way. There is no way. These people... What did you expect were going to show up when they were installing radiators? With all due respect, there are women who do do plumbing and there are women who do do pipe work and stuff like that. But let's be real. The majority of it is men. So the chances of a full woman team coming to install your radiators is almost slim to none. It's not going to happen. And when a school contracts a company to do 200 plus some odd radiators in one shot... Of course, they're going to call in the entire team as much as humanly possible to get the job done as fast as possible because they want it done before it starts getting really cold. That's obvious, right? So the last thing that's going to be on the mind of this company is to make sure to check off your BS diversity hires because you want to be that one weird school that is requesting an all-female plumbing team. Like, you guys are ridiculous. You're so stupid. There's no way you would survive in the real world. You would just get decimated. I... I hope and pray that you wake up soon before you leave college because if you don't and you really think that a mentality and a weakness like this is going to survive out there in the real world, you're just going to be another statistic. That's all you're going to be. The article continues and it says, He wrote this anxiety was compounded by the fact that the crew would be strangers and they would more than likely be cisgender men. I was angry, scared, and confused. Why didn't the college complete the installation over the summer when the building was empty? Are you kidding me? This fucking guy, this guy's stupid. As those awful minutes ticked by, our hero notes he waited apprehensively. The workers began installing in common spaces, and I could see immediately that they were all men, Frey Witzer wrote, adding that other students share my concerns. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Our brave hero was roundly mocked on social media 
journalist Glenn Greenwald summed things up. He tweeted, Students at Oberlin, which costs $80,000 a year to attend, are angry and scared that the low-paid servants sent to fix their radiators are cis men. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Man, these guys are the working class, okay? They don't have time for your BS freaking woke politics. They don't got time for that. They're there to do a job and to complete the job and do it right. And they are the reason. It's people like them that allow you to be lazy and utterly ridiculous in your mindset. And so, safe space, they are the people that are the backbone of this country to make sure that everything is still running so that you can go play woke politics and transgender and all this other crazy stuff. They allow you to be the way you are because they keep the country running. These people, the truckers, the plumbers, the electricians, the contractors, construction workers, they are the ones that keep everything going. So I don't give a shit what your politics are. You need to be thankful to people like them to keep this country running and allow you to be the lazy sack of shit you are in college that is so worried about woke politics and your safe space that you're mad at these people for doing their job. You should really, really like it's I'm getting sick of it. I'm not I'm not putting a, a nice spin on it anymore i you know i always try to like watch my words and stuff well you know what forget that it's really just bullshit at this point the article finishes and it says perfect illustration of how something identity leftism doesn't just ignore class rep repression but reinforces it ponder the rotted roots of an ideology that convinces highly privileged and wealthy students at elite colleges that the guys who come to fix their radiators are their oppressors and that the ones whose families paying eighty thousand dollars a year are the oppressed Another added that the op-ed was a public admission of a need for therapy. <laughs> so, yeah, I totally agree with this. And it's crazy because these kids literally do come from, like, super wealthy, you know, super elite uh, financial background, you know. And, and they're in this college for a reason. This college is $80,000 a year. That's 300 something thousand dollars by the end of their college years, assuming they do four years. And for them to be thinking anything anything in the terms of oppression they really just need to all go to hell at that point there's no way there's no way you're going to convince me that you a child who's getting sent to a school that costs eighty thousand dollars a year is somehow oppressed in this country i do not want to hear it i do not want to hear it at all go to hell with that nonsense you sound stupid at the end of the day and that's the problem with this country Many people are not allowed to tell you how crazy and stupid you sound out of fear of whatever cancellation, but I just don't care. I do not care. You sound absolutely stupid talking like that while paying $80,000 a year to go to college that your parents are paying for that allows you to be that worthless, freaking woke piece of crap that you are. It's really just ridiculous. I can't believe that he got mad at these men for doing their job, a job that that school hired them for. And that he wants the entire school to freaking freeze because he wants to reschedule it because he wasn't ready in his safe space? Are you serious? Not only that, let's say he didn't want the whole school to be rescheduled and just him to be rescheduled. You mean you're going to go without heat because cisgender men installed it and you want a woman or a trans person or someone who fits your diversity quota to install it? Are you serious? You, you don't mean what you say. You do not mean what you say. You are just crazy. You are flat out nuts. But anyway, guys, that was a little bit of a rant. I hope you guys enjoyed this article. If you did, please make sure to give me a like. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe if you're watching me on YouTube. Follow me if you're watching me on Facebook. And I will see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.